A first grade teacher who survived Sandy Hook is on a mission. She's challenging kids to be kind, and she spoke to our Megan Healy. I said there are bad guys out there now. We need to wait for the good guys. That's Sandy Hook teacher Caitlin Roig back on December 14th as she told ABC's Diane Sawyer about the frightening moments locked with her first graders in a bathroom while a shooter terrorized their school. I said, I need you to know that I love you all very much and that it's going to be okay because I thought that was the last thing they were ever going to hear. Thankfully, she and those 15 little souls made it out that day. And when they returned in January, they were greeted by thousands upon thousands of cards, toys, even cupcakes from strangers around the world. It was very hopeful to see the outpouring of love and to see that everybody just wanted to do their part, whatever that was. That's Caitlin today, speaking with us from an office in Connecticut about an exciting new chapter based entirely on that idea of paying it forward. And I said, you know, if I don't t take this moment to teach my kids that when somebody gives to you, you have to give back. So after months of planning, she's launched a website called Classes for Classes, the backbone of a nonprofit aimed at teaching K through five students a curriculum of caring. This allows any school, any class to be able to have this experience because they don't need to put a dime towards it. Through the site, a class can sponsor any other class across the country. They pledge to help that class get something they want or need, set a goal, and then solicit donations to meet it. The catch? The receiving end doesn't get the goods until they pledge to help someone else. Caitlin says these lessons can last a lifetime. And it just really is a place for students to be actively engaged in learning to be caring, compassionate, loving, empathetic little beings. Um, they're so capable of it. Now, right now, there are 14 preliminary projects on the website, but Caitlin and her crew are planning to take this national over the summer. They will formally launch in September of 2013. We have more information on our website, abc27.com. Megan Healy, ABC 27 News.